This is a little video which will make a lot more sense to people who have read my book, which will, God willing, be available eventually. This is a little video for my friend Rich to talk about unities and space in painting. And this is um, a video at night, so it's just with the lighting I have here. So it's a, not a very good picture of my baptism painting. All right, so there's a, a unity of light, for instance. And the, the lightest thing is if you squint your eyes at this, there's a cross that emerges. And Jesus is in that cross. So that's this cross shape that goes from top to bottom and side to side. That that's light. In the upper parts, it's a cooler light. And as it comes down into the water, it's warmer. It's not quite like that in the original painting. The, the warmer colors are washed out of the upper part. But, you know, that's the idea. It doesn't matter. Then there's a, another unity of warm middle tone shapes which starts let me see if i can starts here and goes through here through all these people now the unity of the cross the what's in the background there this part and this part they're in the background but then when they come down here they come forward so it's it's a flat cross on the surface but the bottom part comes forward and then this other unity here, this part is far back, and then it comes forward like this. And if you're thinking about the people, well, they, they go in a circle around Jesus. It's not, I don't make a big deal about it, but this guy extends his hand here. and you know, So there's a sort of a, a, a curve going around, going around Jesus. And then... There's this tree, which is in the foreground. It's closer to us than Jesus and so on. So this is this object in the foreground. So those are some of the elements. Then you could say that there's another unity with this tree in the middle ground. It sort of lines up with this stuff. So there's this sort of motion here, and then there's this motion here. And one is farther back, but it comes forward. You see, as it comes down, it comes forward. So these are just a few of the elements that are things that are happening in the painting that start to tie it together. Now, in, th in this painting, for instance, th these figures form a kind of W. And the W, but it's, it's made of elements that go in and, and behind each other and so on. So it, it, it's, it's coming in and out shape that's coming in and out and then there's the there's the big diagonal from this guy's foot that goes right up here which kind of what that does is sort of ties those things together and what's interesting about that is that some are near in space and some are far that's all it's no big deal and then the top of this building coming down here so again things are tied together but they're in different places in space. And then the sky is light. And this figure is a big patch of light. There's another patch of light over here. So certainly these two things are kind of a unity. One is near and one is far. So it sets up a tension. And between them is darker stuff. This, you know, in fact, this is really, these are really basic things which can happen automatically or unconsciously, but if you if you think about them, you can help them emerge and turn it into something. This is not quite the final cover of the book, but it will look something like this.
There's an index at the end of all the artists mentioned. There's a glossary of jargon at the beginning. And there's a index of movements. And here, here is the um, table of contents.